mother when you were both working on a campaign? Yeah, a political campaign. Oh, the story was I was trying to defeat public housing in Seattle. You'd think everybody would be for public housing. But the problem was the law was written in such a manner that you had to have 10 acres all in one spot. You could not tear down any old housing to put in the new housing. I just went around the city and got the real estate people to tell me where there were 10 acres. Well, next to Broadmoor, Laurelhurst, Magnolia Bluff, and then we had a map drawn showing where the 10 acre sites could be, and all of them next door to some nice neighborhood. I went around and I counted the television aerials. We did have one public housing, yes, sir, Terrace. We had one public housing area. And I went around and counted the number of television areas, aerials in the public housing, which was 80 bucks a month or 50 bucks a month or something like that, and the number of late model cars parked in front of those. And then I went around to other places kind of crummy that were, you paid your taxes on and there were no television aerials and there were no new cars parked in front. And so we had a campaign entitled, Can You Afford to Pay Somebody Else's Rent? Because it was your taxes that was paying for this public housing. Well, Shirley belonged to an outfit called Pro-America. They didn't believe me. So they went around behind me and they counted the television aerials they counted the new cars and the housing projects, and they got more than I got. 